After several fatal terror attacks hit London last year, the mayor of that city, Sadiq Khan, who is a demagogue, tried to placate his critics by saying that overall, London is the world's safest city. Watch. London is the safest global city in the world, and one of the safest uh, cities in the uh, world. But we are a very safe uh, city. That was false then. It's ridiculous now. A wave of stabbings have given London a higher murder rate than New York City, which is much bigger. On Thursday, six teenagers were stabbed in London in four separate incidents over just 90 minutes. Why is this happening? Why is it accelerating? Katie Hopkins, a lifelong resident of the UK, columnist at The Rebel, author of Rude, joins us now with an explanation. Katie, what's going on in London? Doesn't it just make you your skin cruel to hear that london mayor still huh. trotting out and just two days ago the same lines london is one of the safest cities and if you go amongst london right now and talk to regular people talk to regular people in britain they wouldn't dream of taking their young people to london because we now have a higher murder rate than new york we have a major problem with black gangs in different areas of London, in different postcode, zip code regions. Black gangs, rival black gangs are killing each other. And that figure you mentioned, six in 24 hours, it went, actually went up to nine stabbings yesterday. And for every stabbing carried out by one tribe, one gang, that will be revenge. There will be vengeance for that. So it's a perpetuating crime level and it's a crime wave we're going to see rising. Um, and it's a serious problem here in London that the mayor and the head of the Met won't talk about it because it involves young black men and they're too afraid of being called racist. Well, that's it right there. I mean, London has had crime problems in centuries past at various points. But what's changed is the unwillingness of the people in charge to acknowledge it and their willingness instead to lie about it and punish anyone else who doesn't lie about it. So when he says the lie that London is the safest global city, how do people respond in London? Do they kind of nod in a bovine way? Oh, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> no, absolutely not. In fact, there's quite a campaign and it's building now uh, to get uh, Sadiq Khan out. And I uh, see myself as one of the cheerleaders of that campaign, of course. Frankly, if little Sadiq Khan could take off his ballet shoes and his tutu and stop dancing around the issue and address the problem head on, we have a problem with black gangs in London. These are a syndicated crime gangs in different areas attacking each other. We we need to do profiling of the attackers, then we need to quadruple our stop and search efforts. He got into power saying he would do his best to stop, stop and search because it unfairly targeted young black men. Well, I say tough luck. If young black men are the guys mostly committing this crime, then young black men can expect to be stopped and searched. And frankly, if it was white conservative women doing the stabbing, I'd be very happy to be searched every day if it saved a life. But this lot are so politically correct, they are prepared to let London fall, let young boys die on the street, slaughtered every night here because they don't want to be called racist. And I think that's a sickening state of affairs here in the UK. But it's a very recognizable theme for, the, for us over here.